Sunday Telegraph. Voters think that politicians shouldn't shout Allah Akbar. The only time I shout it is to spice up a game of bingo. <laughs> Brilliant. Not as good as the first version of the joke, but we all agree. <laughs> no, no, we could do the first version of the joke. We need to do headliners after hours. <laughs> uh, most voters think shouting Allah Akbar is inappropriate for politicians. So six in ten, or 60% for the layman, think it's inappropriate for politicians to shout Allah Akbar or Alan Snack Bar, as we like to call it here. Uh, to praise God after winning an election, polling has found. So, I mean, I agree, but I'd love to see Jacob Rees-Mogg do it just once. It'd be amazing. <laughs> I'd love it if, if Rees-Mogg could shout. Well, what happens if he said, if Jacob Rees-Mogg said, God is great or something? Wow, this is amazing. Oh, it's a good point. It? And that's all yeah, it means. It's all it does mean. But this is following, obviously, Green Party councillor Mothin Ali as Victoria's speech after his campaign on behalf of the people of Gaza in Leeds. Yeah. <laughs> which is exactly what this story is about. Mm. You know, there were a lot of um, Muslim politicians and local councillors that campaigned f on behalf of the people of Gaza and Palestine and won seats on that, on that within the UK. This, this issue is not going away. It's a powerful issue in our country. And we've got the Green Party now kind of co-opted by... Uh, the Gaza movement is what I would say. Well, yeah, that's going to happen, and it'll be the death of the, the death of the Green Party. You feel, I mean, you, I don't feel for them too much, but you feel for them a little bit because they're not going to be the party that they were. They're going to be the party of the Ga of the Gaza movement. But the twenty nine percent thought it was okay to to scream yeah. that. So what do, what does it mean? We we don't know the numbers. This is one of those typical polls. You'd have to find out the numbers before you before you get all excited about it. It's, it, it the, the yellow act part, I don't think. I mean, obviously, it's got its connotations. Yes. Um, let, let, let's be let's be absolutely brutally honest about it. Often gets shouted just before something very terrible is about to happen. Well, I mean, let's not forget that yeah. jihad means struggle. So you could yeah, say yeah, this yeah. is clearly just the God is great. It. I'm having a bit of a struggle. Bosh! Yeah. The arena blows up. So I, I, I'm not cool with it. <laughs> I'm not cool with it. But you know, that's not a lie. That's absolute fact. And and the problem I had with it is that is is this debate around the issues of the day? The people of Leeds. I'm, and I know there's a majority. There's quite a, 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 a significant minority in Leeds that are a, a Muslim faith. But I'm, I'm pretty sure like the bins not getting collected cor correctly or the NHS yeah. problems should be greater on their list of concerns. Yeah. It should be, but where they probably, where some of them come from, they probably, the bins don't get collected very well there. So they're probably... But, but still, I think the point is, like, it's not even like a, a, a local politician who's an MP who would then go to the House of Parliament and maybe vote on something. This is someone who would be in charge of a local council. Yeah. So as if the meetings... I can't wait for the Greens to have, like, some meeting and the, the running order is, oh, we're talking about Gaza, we're talking about the West Bank. Uh, recycling bins. It's, it's going to be a very weird meeting. You know what I mean? No, you will think it's a weird meeting. We will think it's a weird meeting. But they won't think it's a weird meeting because that's important to them. You can't tell people. Not, this is not about changing law. This is just about perceptions that people have. And maybe their, percep their perceptions are different than our well, this actually makes sense, Lewis. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Was this, did he just say that it makes sense? Yeah. You might, no, it didn't just make sense. It yeah. sounded intelligent. I understood it. People out there would have understood every word you said. They will yeah. if they've listened to it. If you know what's happened to the real Lewis, do get in touch. We will track him down. We're not having any of this alien replacement lark.